Well, it's a more Mark II stuff. Time for, uh, I guess, a slightly different video. Some refurbishment that needs doing on these items. Uh, we have the brake fluid reservoir with a piece of pipe that's going to be thrown in the trash. I'm not sure what's this like inside here. It's probably no good at all. Oh, maybe um, hmm, it seems to move up and down as well. All right, so this and this without the pipe, that will be put into my ultrasonic cleaner. What do I have here? Hmm. Ah. This is the brake of fluid reservoir. Uh, don't lie to me. It's not the reservoir. It's the uh, master cylinder. That's the reservoir. That's the cylinder. I got a funny feeling this has probably totally had it. Hmm. We will see. Um, that might be, might be savable. I'll take it all apart and see. I mean, that's. That's locked solid, I mean, and if the bore is uh, rusted to buggery, then uh, to buggery is where this is going to go. Nice and clean. And the final item that we have to do <clears throat> is a dipshit. Uh, no, a dip switch, not a dipshit, you dip switch. My God, look at that. Wow. Uh, guess. There was originally some nuts on there, and the cable came through there onto the connections. Now, it works as in click, 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 but I'll have to check the connections first. I don't see any reason why it shouldn't work. I mean, it, it's normally not been exposed to much other than someone's dirty foot. And the little sleeves here. So, uh, well, that grommet obviously is totally fucked. Um, so... That will be coming out and going in the trash. I'll keep a note of it. Note of it. Oh, look, the, cent the, the centers. <clears throat> the holes are off center. So that must be off center. Which means it must go that way round. It has no choice, children, if it wants to line up. Okay, so that's something else that's got to be cleaned up. Obviously, I can powder coat that plate. I can powder coat these. Those bolts. They're either going to be welded or through the th th threaded. They're threaded because that spins. Yep, okay, so they'll be taken out and cleaned. In fact, I tell you what, I'm going to put the whole lot, everything, into the parts wash, uh, the ultrasonic cleaner. And that'll get the initial crap off of it. And then we can take it from there. But I will get this hose off first. Okay, um, oh, and uh, just in case you're wondering, and I know you are because you're just so excited, um, in the parts, I did it again, stop it, in the ultrasonic cleaner, um, I have simple green, nothing more um, aggressive than that. And in fact, it's pretty old simple green, so I really should throw it away. But let's take these, put them in there, and then I'll bring them back and show you um, how they look after probably about 30 minutes, maybe an hour of cleaning. Right, it had 30 minutes in the, the washer. Uh, when I picked this up, the amount of disgusting crap. Let's see if there's some more there. Yeah, look at that. So, uh, definitely going to need to clean that in there more. I might give it another run with this lid off. I mistakenly left the lid on. So, in fact, I, then why, why am I saying might? I'm going to do that. Uh, this, I tell you what, it works. Or well, seems to work. I'm going to have to check and see if it actually floats up. I don't know if there's a way I can remove this to check the cork that's in there. And the thing is, if it is cork cork, they do get saturated over time. And of course they do have this uh, hole here. So I may have to buy a new one. Oh, uh, no, I'm sorry. I'm going to rephrase that. I'm not going to may look at, look at that. It's, it's corroded away there. Yeah. I mean, yeah, well, there you go. Let's see. Look at that. 
yep, I'm going to have to buy a new one of those. So I'm not going to waste any more time trying to clean that up. Uh, those are the two sleeves from the switch, which has come out reasonably well. Still work, so we'll actually there won't be much cleaning up to do on that. A bit of crap here to get off, and this plate, of course, will be cleaned and powder coated. And then the bottle here itself, with well, apart from this clip which didn't want to come undone, so that's going to get a treatment of the old PBs. And I saw a guy do a video regarding cleaning up washer bottles, making them look spam branking new. I might do that. I might just buy a new one because I've got to buy that anyway. And if you buy the whole damn thing and then just, I don't know, keep it as a spare, put it on eBay, who knows? I've got to find out how much these cost. I don't think they're terribly expensive in all honesty. So let me uh, check it out, man. We've got to check it out, check it out. All right, let's move on. Let's give this another blast in the... Uh, the so ultrasonic let's uh, uh this is just going to go into the sand blaster with these two beasts this i will clean up with a wire brush and that's about all i'm going to do with that because there ain't no point in doing anything else i'll take these bolts out to clean it properly i know it's silly who's going to see it's on the floor but that's me and if you know anything about me, which you probably don't, uh, I get anal about certain things. And I like them to be right, even though it's not going to be seen. Must be a family trait. My brother's doing some work on the uh, E-Type that we own. And uh, he was, I think it was some sound deadening he was replacing. And he was being very meticulous on how it was put in and getting it right. And then he said to me, nobody's ever going to see it. And I said, no, I know, but uh, <laughs> you know it was done right. And it's, I don't know, it's a personal satisfaction thing. Maybe because we were both into uh, computers um, and worked in the computer field in our working days, which neither of us are in anymore, and you just... You do it and you do it right. Unlike a lot of the uh, the websites you go on today, you click on a link and it doesn't fucking work. Or there's a highlighted area and you click and nothing happens. And you uh, just very poorly written software out there a lot today. You know, you, you do this. Oh, well, you can print. Oh, I had one on eBay yesterday. Um, I sold an item. And, oh, print label. So I said, oh, okay, great, yeah, all right. So they've changed the way it works, print label. So I hit print label. I got a blank page. A blank fucking page. Again, poorly written software, not bench tested as it should be. As an IT director that I achieved uh, in my level of work, and as an operations manager, you would not allow any shit like that to go out. You test it and test it and then you test it again. And you test it with the users before you put it out there. <sighs> Sorry, bit of a rant there. IT rant. And those of you that are in uh, IT, and I know a number of my subscribers are in IT, um, or were in IT, and they got despondent with it so left. But those of you that are still out there in IT and you're writing software, make sure it works properly. You only make yourself look fucking stupid when you don't do it properly and you don't get it tested. And the directors and the managers, when the boss says, oh, let's push it out, let's push it out, tell him no. I do. Did. And unfortunately, at one point, that cost me my job because I stood on my principles. Oh, well, there you go. You know, shit happens and you, you deal with it. You can only advise them. An owner of a company told me to do one thing, and I said, no, we should do this. He owns the company, so I had to do what he said. Then it went awfully wrong, cost him a lot of money. And so guess what? I was outsourced. Hmm. You employ professionals to give you advice. Listen to it. All right. Um, it's 
started to take the brake master cylinder apart. Yeah, still give this a bit of a, a blast and a cleaner and this plate from the uh, dip switch, you dipstick, uh, class, uh, we'll give that a blast, give that a blast. Uh, hell, we'll give that a blast too and definitely those. Um, I was looking online at these, um, a complete unit, both parts, are roughly $74 plus shipping and tax, of course. If I just replace that, it's about $36, saving me $40. So this is going to get cleaned up. Um, I've got to go jump back online and see uh, what that guy suggested about cleaning this up to make it look brain spanking new. So we'll look at that. Um, on this cylinder, um, it's, it's looking reasonable um the only problem i have is getting this piston out now so uh we're going to do a little bit of a uh, piggery jokery see if i can get it actually to move actually to move or even just to move Hang on. oh that's way too easy it moved huh now how do i get the fucking thing out <coughs> oh. <coughs> oh, sorry, frog in me throat. Let's see if I can push it out with this, maybe. Oh, oh, I, I can't believe I'm going to do this. Oh yeah, there she goes. Come on, baby. Just a little. Ooh, look at the state of that fucking thing. Oh my God. Oh, this is not pretty. You're seeing this for the first time, like I am. Oh, there's crap coming out there. Oh, oh, oh. Hooey, oh dear. This could get expensive. What the hell? Wow. Oh, I guess that goes on the end there somehow. Whoa. Oh, and there's the little old springy poo. Now, the biggest question is... Do I buy a ruby a, a ruby kit or even a rebuild kit for like five dollars? Let me have a get my light here. I haven't. I have seen. Don't even go there. Well, hard to tell. I'm gonna give that a rinse out now. <clears throat> I mean, it doesn't look terrible, and I do have a small honing device that I could run up and down there, which is probably what I'm gonna do. All right, and um, I do need to note the way all of this came apart, so give me a second here. Let me change where my light is. So we have this large spring, which needs blasting. Then we have this little clip here, and I would think, yeah, it goes on that way round. Aha, uh -huh, there you go, and fits in the end of that spring, which then <clears throat> pushes on that seal, which is that way round. And <clears throat> then there is a washer here. Hmm, that don't want to come off. I would have thought that washer would have come off. I'm sure it will with a little bit of gentle persuasion. Um, and then obviously obviously the seal just sits on there, the spring and everything just sits on there. <clears throat> and pushy, pushy, pushy. And then we have the other seal there. Alright, so my job now is to <clears throat> clean that up. Move that out of the way. Get this washer off of here because I'm sure that will be part of the rebuild kit. Ah, oh, there we go. A little thin washer there. <clears throat> Get this seal off of here. Give everything a damn good clean up. This needs a bit of paint stripping first. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I do seem to have a frog today. As opposed to a toad. A horny toad, that is. Because 
we all like a horny toad and I'm definitely a horny toad so I'm going to give this a rinse out then I'm going to get this off with some paint stripper then we'll go get blasted with all of these other pieces that need to get damn and blasted I don't know, maybe I shouldn't do that spring can't do any harm can it Ah, but don't lose that washer because that will come off and go flying and I'm not talking about the song who did that song flying was it an individual beetle <coughs> or was it the Beatles oh gosh testing my Beatles knowledge which is not a good thing these days although I knew a shitload about those boys I also forgot a shitload all right so uh, got to find out about this little baby let's get this cleaned and as Arnold would say I'll be back well <clears throat> here we are I have now blasted god damn and blasted them this appears gotta say appears to be okay um, I've got to clean it out in there a little bit more that's going to be kind of tricky um, I'm going to bake it in the sun and once it's dry then what I'm going to do maybe maybe going to do is put some gliptol uh, in there but I want to do that without clogging the holes through to the reservoir so I may or may not do that in fact in, um, I'm double double fucking myself now I am going to rust treat it in there because the rust treatment will just neutralize it. I won't worry about the gliptol. Uh, this bore appears, appears to be okay. There's a little surface rust there and the surface rust is because I just washed it in water. So I'm going to give that a clean. Unfortunately, the only way I'm going to find out is by actually putting it into service. And it's a good old... Lockheed, you know, aeroplane people. <sighs> yeah, that's not that's not looking bad. All right, we'll see. Uh, uh, headlight switch. Still got a bit of juice in there. <laughs> We're going to put that out in the sun too to let that dry off. It means the least the water didn't get into the switch. This is Dash Piston. Yeah, I've got water on my hands now, so it's getting on there. So I'm going to put all these out in the sun so they can get a good drying. And then I will powder coat what I can. All right. I won't be powder coating that because it's brass. I might try and polish it just for shits and giggles. I've got a buffer. Maybe I should just polish that. And of the spring there, well, of course, that's just been cleaned up. Sorry about the aeroplane. Yes. Aeroplane, not airplane, it's aeroplane. You know, as in Jefferson Aeroplane. Hmm? Huh? You know? Take a trip. What's that song? Take a trip on an aeroplane? Aeroplane, not airplane? Can't remember the song now, but I bet you can. All right. Um, and those of you that know me will not be surprised to know I have an opinion on things. Um, and it doesn't really matter whether you agree with my opinions or not. You're watching my YouTube channel. So you're going to hear my opinions unless you stop it right now. Uh, mute it. Whatever. Um, this is the distinct advantage of having your own YouTube channel. You can say pretty much what you like. And with all this shit going on at the moment... Uh, with our current incompetent president. Yes, you can tell I don't like him because he's weak. He's a puppet. Um, and this two-bit actress called Meghan Muckle and the Harry thing, it appears that they're allowed to have their opinions, but anybody else that dares to have an opposite opinion such as Mr. Piers Morgan, who is not my favourite person. Um, oh, no, that's not allowed. Well, hang on. They had their bit. They had their speech. 
and they were interviewed by a I don't even know really how to describe that woman and it's nothing to do with the color of her skin I don't I don't give a shit about that she just thinks she's something fucking special she's not she's just a person she got a good job she made the best of it good luck to her well done but you ain't nothing fucking special Oprah you're just a person. You shit and piss like the rest of us. As do the royal family. So, um, I'm going to stop it here. Because I'm going to get into a wine and wines. And those of you that don't like wine and wines. Stop right now. Turn it off. Don't bother watching. Because I'm going to say things that I believe or are my opinions. And I pretty much guarantee they're not going to be your opinions. They will be of some of you, but not all of you. So, won't this be fun for me? And you, you can't even speak back to me because it's a recorded video. Yeah, you can put it in the comments and I can delete it. Aha, I won't. I don't care. Everybody is entitled to their opinion. Different to mine, different to yours. They're entitled to it. So, time to uh, cut out of here. We're going to go to wine and wines. Because I have a glass of wine and I'm going to wine. <laughs> Lucky me. Oh, and the facial hair. It looks fucking stupid, doesn't it? So that's going to come off. I think I'm just going to go to... Well, I've gone from the goatee, I went to the full beer, that wasn't that successful. <laughs> Didn't really like it. Now this looks fucking stupid, anybody who grows fucking hair like this is fucking retard. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for a moustache, I think. Next, I'm gonna shave this off tonight and I'll just be a moustache and um, then we'll see how that goes. I had a moustache for many years. Um, but maybe it'll still look pretty crappy. And I'll shave it off. I know my wife doesn't like it, but uh, yeah, I can't even go into the details as to why, but use your imagination. Okay, for all you masochists that have hung around to hear my wine and wines, you either have no life or you think I might actually say something interesting uh, you can pretty much guarantee I'm going to say something controversial or at least something you don't agree with nipple bum fuck oh no who was it did peepo belly bum drawers ah uh, Hugh 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 Lloyd and Terry Terry Scott they did a stupid song mum's out dad's out let's talk naughty Peepo belly bum draws. Digression. Cheers to all you guys, and especially to all you ladies, because you know I love you. Now, wine and wines. Uh, with all this <sighs> Meghan Muckle shit and uh, the royal family, let me caveat what I'm about to say. Caveat, there's a big word. Um, I'm not a royalist. I'm not a fan of the royal family. I think they are merely a tourist attraction. They may have been good in the past, but all the British public seems to do is give them money so that they can live the life they want and do whatever the fuck they want and don't care. I uh, will also say that I do rather like uh, William and... Uh, Catherine, as the royal household insists, she is called, not Kate. And I have no problem with that. Maybe because she's a good-looking woman. And on that, actually, Muckle is not a bad-looking woman, just her character is so flawed. Um, okay, so the Muckle and Dirty Harry... Uh, thing came out and they said their piece 
more, more. She said her piece and Harry did as he was told. That man is what's known as Cuntstruck. <sighs> Which is sad because he doesn't seem a bad person, but she's got him tied round her pussy finger. When she dumps this second spawn, I'll give her a year, maybe even push it to two years, before she dumps him and screws him for every fucking penny he's got. She wants to be Diana. She always wanted to be Diana. It's her thing. She would never be Diana. She doesn't have the class Diana had, or the class that Catherine has. It's not because she's an American. That is not the point. The point is she just doesn't have it. I must admit I got rather ticked off when they started to play the race card and the color thing. Um, and people jumped on the bandwagon. You're, you're, it's prejud you're prejudiced because she's black. Correct me if I'm wrong, which I'm sure you will. As far as I'm aware, she's a half caste. And by that, I mean she has a black parent and a white parent. Okay, so what? Big fucking deal. Who cares? Doesn't matter. That's not the point. The point is, don't play the racist card for no fucking reason at all. It's not a racist thing. It's just, it is what it is. <clears throat> all right, let's, let's move on from that. Um, dear Piers, Piers Morgan. Don't like him. Really, never been a fan of his. But he had his opinion. And as a news um, caster, he was entitled to express his opinion, whether you agreed with it or not. What was wrong is that the weatherman, who should only be dealing with the weather, decided to step in and rant and rave about Piers's opinion. You're the weatherman, do the weather, Shut the fuck up. Piers Morgan, like him or not, is a professional news caster. You're a weatherman. You're a professional weatherman. If Piers started talking about the weather, you'd get pissed off. I'm surprised Piers didn't walk out earlier or at least go and punch the guy in the face and knock his fucking teeth out. What a dickhead. Sorry. <sighs> Just getting back to the royal family very quickly. I think I mentioned it earlier, they, to me, are a tourist attraction. Um, they have cost the British taxpayer billions of dollars. I really see no use for them. But that's me. Okay, um, rents. Let's move on from, or get away from the royal family, which is why I live in America, because I got away from them. As, as Mr. George Washington did too, and I don't blame him. Had I been over here then, I'd have jumped on the bandwagon with Mr. Washington. Oh, and by the way, British soldiers of that time, you think wearing bright red in a forest is a good idea? You're gonna hide? <laughs> <laughs> Dumb fucks. And we never should have left the Hessians in charge. They were too busy celebrating. Though maybe that wasn't such a bad thing. Excuse me, the throat's getting dry. There was another uh, fellow um, subscriber, uh, YouTuber, um, Dave, on Classic Car Cave. And if you're into cars, do tune into his channel because uh, it, it's really worth watching. He's a, he's a really nice guy, or he appears a really nice guy. And he was uh, ranting, um, having a little rant. He, he doesn't rant like I do. He's, he's too polite. He's too nice. I'm not. I don't give a fuck. About the ignorance of people these days. You know, bad parking. Uh, just general lack of respect for someone else's property. And by that I mean we're... And this is not something Dave mentioned. Um, I came back to my car in a car park one day. And there were three young guys, much fitter and stronger than me, um, leaning, sitting on my car, you know, drinking Coca-Cola. You know, they weren't drunk or anything like that, but 
I went up to them and I got fucking furious. To me, a car is for sitting in, not on. And I screamed obscenities and said, get the fuck off of my car. <sighs> to which they apologised and got away from it. Perhaps because they could sense my anger and I'd have gone for it. Whether I'd have won or lost is... Actually, it's not debatable. I'd have fucking lost. They were three young guys. <laughs> but for whatever reason, they backed off and got away. Respect someone else's property. You know, respect boundaries. And what uh, Dave was doing on Classic Car was people parking across two, three parking spots in a car park. There's no need for it. You, 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 don't, you don't do that. It's just... You are not respecting the rules. I mean, and okay, you know, I know sometimes rules are really a fucking pain in the ass, but come on. Park in a parking spot. You know, there's white lines. You should be able to get it between the white lines. Okay, I know they're not cocaine lines, but hey, if they were, I bet you fucking could get in there. All right, that's, let's leave that one there for the moment. I'll probably come back to it, but let's, let's not um, dwell on it, shall we say. Now, uh, tomorrow, fortunately, I'm an old fart. I can finally get my COVID vaccine. But it's been bloody almost impossible. Now, I live in Arizona. And getting a COVID vaccine here is a fucking nightmare. Why? Well, guess why? Because the current incumbent president is opening up a fucking wall and also allowing all of the illegals to get the COVID vaccine and all those that are here illegally. God knows how many millions. I haven't got a fucking clue. Now, I appreciate that they want it. I, I, yep, shit, so do I. But I'm a legal US citizen. I've paid my dues. Me first. Me, me, me. Then, once everybody else is done, then let's deal with the illegals. Maybe. All right. It's a bad disease. So, yeah, I guess we should help them but they shouldn't be here in the first place. As far as I'm aware, since Biden's got in, the um, ingress to America has gone up from 50, 70% to 300%. What does that tell you? And now he wants to knock down the fucking wall. What a dickhead. All right, let's move on to uh, something slightly different. Um, car dealers. Mm. Boy, do they rip you off. Well, only if you're stupid. Actually, that's not a fair comment. Only if you're vulnerable. You don't have to be stupid. You just have no knowledge of cars. Why should you? Not everybody does. I do. Um, and in the past, I mentioned my friend, customer, who went to Big O Tires here in Queen Creek, I believe it was. Although, whether it was Queen Creek or not, I don't know, but it was certainly Big O Tires. And they told him they needed to replace his uh, pads and rotors for a mere $840. He uh, fortunately said, uh, yeah, I'll think about it, and left. Came to me and said, Gary, could you show me how to replace my pads and rotors. So I said, yeah, sure, no problem. Um, he said, I want to do the work. I'll pay you to teach me. Okay, great. So I became a mentor for a moment or two. Um, and he asked me what I charge. I said, yeah, give me a hundred bucks. I normally charge 80 bucks per front back axle to replace the pads, the pads only. But they wanted to make him replace the pads and the rotors. There was absolutely nothing wrong with the rotors. They were perfect, absolutely perfect. I think he spent something like, ballpark figures, $100, $120 for front and rear pads. Uh, he gave me 100 bucks as a 
generous gift to me to show him how to do it. So we're looking 200, 220. Um, that's it. Okay, uh, sorry about that slight interruption, but uh, I have a, uh, not that you're going to care, I have a Brussels Griffon who has been with me for, well, with us for 18, coming on 19 years. Uh, he's uh, blind, can't hear, can't walk, but is still sharp. And he needed some attention, so I had to give it to him. And that is no regret. I do that in a heartbeat. Right, I think I finished bitching about Big O and trying to screw a customer. And I, I believe I kind of wrapped it up with the, uh, the actual costs. And I'm just to, as I'm not sure, I'm going to recap. Uh, so the guy gave uh, me a donation, a thank you, Gary, of 100 bucks. Very much appreciated. Next time, he doesn't need me. He can do it himself. Yeah, he's got to buy a few tools to do it. Okay, big deal. Um, he can look at his rotors. He knows now how to look at his rotors and see whether they need replacing or not. Um, his pads were low, but they could have gone on probably for another 1,500 miles. But he wanted to replace them. So fair. And I made sure he replaced the, the hardware kits, etc. As I said, he probably spent like 100 and 120, and he gave me 100 bucks, so 220. Um, that's a big difference between that and 840. And this is not just the tire companies that rip people off, it's the dealerships. And they do it. I mean, they, sh they should just, as you walk in there, they should just give you a fucking jar of KY jelly. Hey, guess what? We're going to fuck you in the ass if you're that. Um, what's the word? No, not stupid. You, you don't have the knowledge of cars. And why should you? You shouldn't have to have the knowledge of cars. You should be able to trust it. It's like you walk into the doctors and the doctor says, ah, yes, sir, you know, you got this wrong with you, you got that wrong with you. You trust the doctor because he has the knowledge. You don't. The same should apply in car dealerships, but it doesn't. They just like to screw you. Cheers. Now, a uh, couple of other very small minor items. Um, people watch my videos. They like them for whatever reason. They dislike them for whatever reason. I really don't care. Um, you know, I, I buy a, a part and, I don't know, a clip, a screw, a bolt, whatever. Something that... I need four, so I have to buy 10 or 12 or whatever. Doesn't matter. So, what am I going to do with the rest of them? They're no use to me. Um, unless I'm going to be rebuilding a particular vehicle over and over again, which I'm not. That's, I'm retired. That's not what I do. I'm not a business. So, um, pay it forward is my um, comment. I needed a couple of little round metal clips that go into my Jaguar Mark II. They go in the floor. You know, the, I, I probably could have found them somewhere, but I, I wasn't sure. So I just put the message out there to the guys on forums. And do that, by the way, if, if you're, you're into classic cars and you need something, get on the forum for that vehicle. And I needed two of these clips. Guy sent them to me, paid the postage, everything. So, okay, you know, what do I owe you? No, nothing. Don't worry about it, Gary. Wow. Um, stunned me. Recently, I, I bought some clips for a, a particular part of the project. I had shits of them left. I didn't need them. And one of my subscribers said, hey, Gary, you know, how much do you want for them? Nothing. I'll send them to you. Give me your address. They're yours. Take them. Which I did. He insisted on paying for the shipping. He didn't have to. I didn't care. Pay it forward. Okay, you know, I'm not talking, you know, 
hundreds and thousands of dollars of parts. I'm talking a few bucks here now. You know, it was, it was no skin off of my nose and he appreciated it and hopefully he'll pay it forward in some way to uh, another person. Um, two other very minor things now. Um, some of my subscribers get pissed off because I say fuck, puss, press, nipple, whatever. One of my subscribers got upset with me because of my language, which, uh, too fucking bad. However, I gotta say, he just came back and said, okay, I'm sorry. Um, okay, it's just the way you are. Um, that's the language you use. Um, it doesn't bother me that much. I enjoy watching your videos. Um, I'm hopefully uh, of help to him. And uh, he appreciates I am who I am. And if you don't, again, your problem, not mine. And one other final thing regarding this stuff, wine. Uh, a guy named Julian Young. And if you look at my videos, you will see it. He suggested I buy a particular New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc, which I have. It's in my fridge right now. I will be having a glass of it later. You see the power of YouTube, people chatting to each other, people making comments. It's all worthwhile. Well, it's fun. I don't do fuck bake, fuck bake, fuck fake book, Fergie Bergie, and Instagram. I don't do any of that shit. You know, they censor. YouTube, okay, you know, I, I can't show a nipple. Well, actually, I could probably show my nipple, but you really don't want to see that. But I'm not allowed to show a lady's nipple or her pussy or her ass, which I am rather fond of. But, hey, there you go. Can't win them all, can you? But at least they don't seem to yet censor me saying fuck bum, tip nipple, whatever. And I appreciate that. I do wish they'd allow me to permanently set my YouTube channel that I don't do anything for children. And guess what? They don't do anything for me either. Uh, <laughs> oh no, careful. Don't go down that road. Oh no, you're going to be in big trouble. <sighs> okay, boys, girls. Oh, girls. <laughs> Sorry, that was a bit perverted. Especially with this kind of... That's coming off. That's coming. That's definitely coming off. It, it looks stupid, doesn't it? Yes, it does. I look like that guy that does motorbikes. And whilst he does great motorbikes, he just, to me, he looks kind of weird. <laughs> Not that guys appeal to me. <sighs> like, comment, subscribe, ding your dong, and get out in that garage and do some shit. And hey, nobody commented. Should I get that put on some mugs? Sell mugs? Get out in the garage and do some shit? Oh, I won't do small mugs. Got to be big mugs. I haven't got a clue where I'd even start to research that. Oh, well. Now, again, get out in that garage and do some shit. Good night, Vienna.